personal favorite vloggers, Mr. Nick Fogey. I like to think of him as a crazy genius. So let's take a look at some of his past work. Get in, Batch, we're going shopping. So like you've never been with a girl? Oh, it's a Super Bowl party? I don't know, he's gay. We are so gonna get drunk and make out. Oh, so there's this gay guy that works at the salon that I go to. He's like 53, salt and pepper hair. <laughs> You're a stupid batch. 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 Hey, batch! I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way. So I have requested an interview with Mr. Nick Fody, so let's take a look at some of his answers to vlogging and his personal life. Let's take a look. Hey, Chris. It's me, Nick. I mean, suddenly wake. Yeah, it's, it's me. So, shall we get into the questions? We shall. Tell me what got you motivated to start vlogging. What? Not that stink bug. OMG, that was terrifying. I am not editing that out. Do you see this? No, nope, don't fly out. Do you see this? Oh, yeah, no, you're gross. So, anyway, yeah, so I started making videos because my friend Carson, more than a blog, was making videos, and I was like, hey, I want to do that, and so I did. Tell me where you are in life right now from your own perspective. Um, I feel like I am in a good place. I like what I do, actually I love what I do, and I get to travel, and I get to eat delicious things, and I get to hang out with super fun, awesome, amazing people, and things. Tell us one of the most memorable parts of your life. Um, I mean, is it corny if I say now? I mean, now is pretty awesome. Like, I guess, actually, well... A couple months ago, when my mom's like sleepwalking video went viral. And what exactly are you doing, ma'am? It's a special code. Is it? And I got to go on like a bunch of TV shows like Jimmy Kimmel and Ricky Lake and um, Anderson Cooper and thing other ones that I'm not thinking of right now, like an Australian morning show called Sunrise, and yeah. So anyway, that was pretty awesome. What inspires you? Um, I guess that goes with the last question. Everything. So yeah, like I, like, I could look at something and just be like, oh, this is a white comforter. You know why white comforters are bad? Because they get stained easily. Oh, that's like a sex joke, sorry. What fuels you to do everything that you do? Um, it helps knowing that there are people that wait for my videos to pop up in their subscription boxes and that just feels so awesome in my heart zone that there are people that actually exist that want to see me. Like, yeah. Cool. Tell me something difficult in your life and how you got over it or are getting over it. Um, last summer, my cousin um, jumped in front of a train and that was so out of left field. I was in LA um, for VidCon and I got a call and I was told this and I was like in disbelief. And then when it finally hit me, um, I think it was, it didn't hit me until like two hours later. Um, I was just like crying in this car on the way to um, some event or something um, for VidCon. And it, it was just crazy times. So um, I, I guess the best way I could put it is Time is how you get over things, anything, really, because you can try to, you know, I don't know, put your mind on something else, or... Why is my tub running? I'm talking about serious things. I need to shut that off. So yeah, anyway, time heals all wounds, as, you know, cliche as that sounds, but for real z reals. Tell us about an inspirational figure in your life. Um, can I just say everything? Like, is that a cop-out? But it really is everything. Like, is it really, is the tub really running again? Like, I could make a video just on that. Why? I'm just gonna let it run. 
Just I'm just gonna waste water. Yeah, no, that's no, that's really it's really running. I have to go shut it off again. Why? Back streets back. Alright. Dun 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 Alright. Okay. And finally, what are some words that you live by and why? Um, I mean let's let's just go with some cliches. Time heals all wounds, so when things suck, just know that they will get better. Um, don't sweat the small stuff. So, you know, stubbing your toe sucks, um, but it's not gonna hurt forever. And I mean, that could be figurative. Like, even if you're going through a breakup, that sucks, trust me. I know, but in the future, like, think like a couple months ahead be like, am I, am I really gonna be upset about that, like, six months from now? And your answer is probably always gonna be no. No, I'm not gonna be upset, so... Yeah, those are my words. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's it. So thank you, Christopher, for, um, interviewing me, and, um... This is Rubik's Cube. Bye! So today Nick shared with us a couple of important lessons. One of those being, time heals all wounds. Sometimes when we get stuck in those times of desperation, we can think, oh gosh, I'm never gonna get out of that situation. But that's not true. Just look into the future and think of all the future goals that you have set for yourself. Second, don't sweat the small stuff. Whether it be breakups, job projects, tests, Whatever it may be, all those things are going to bring you down. So what you want to think about is all the good stuff that you have in your life. So this has been this episode of Inspirations, and I hope you join us next time.